Welcome back to the next episode of Magical Moments. We're here in the lobby of the theater where we're getting ready for a cabaret and dinner. Looking forward to that. Um, this episode is about an extraordinary woman. Uh, she was in our very first production. She not only was nominated for the Carbonell, but she won the Carbonell for her portrayal of Mother Abbess. She commanded your attention and um, she's a Tony Award winner in our book. Please welcome Laureline Snedeker. Hi, I'm Laureline Snedeker and I've been an actress and a singer in the South Florida community for, okay, wait for it, almost 40 years. I don't know too many people who can say that. My first experience at the WIC, however, was their inaugural production of The Sound of Music. And frankly, that was on my bucket list. Uh, my mother had done the role back in community theater when I was a teenager, and I had always wanted to sing that number, Climb Every Mountain. And so I got to, as the Mother Abbess. first opportunity to meet Marilyn, who, believe me, is a powerhouse. And my first encounter with her that impressed the heck out of me was when she lined all of us up for a costume parade. The nuns were all in their habits, and the director and Marilyn was looking at us to make sure everything was quite right. And she said, no, 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 this will not do. And she sent her staff back to remake every one of the habits because they were not the same color black under the light. Pretty good in my book. Hmm. So then I did MAME with Leslie Uggams, and I think that was probably my eighth or ninth MAME. I'd done it before with Sally Kellerman and also with um, Loretta Swit on tour, and that's when I first met Kimberly Wick. She had costumed our show out of New York. In both those productions, I was honored with Carbonell nominations, and I was grateful to win for The Sound of Music. Then I went to visit Marilyn at one point when I was on vacation and popped into her office, and she said, what are you doing? I told her that I was visiting and just hanging out, and she said, sit down, and I ended up doing the understudies of four people in Jerry's Girls. So I had to learn every piece of music, every everybody's parts, everybody's dialogue, and everybody's feet from a 20-year-old to a 60-year-old. That's an experience. My last foray at the Wick was always Patsy Cline, getting to play Louise, Patsy's fan. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun, except as a singer, I had about this much to do. I literally talked and told the entire story of the show. My friend said, for crying in the bucket, Louise, the band don't even start till eight o'clock. I said, I don't care. We're gonna be there by 6.30. Sometimes you just have to talk to them that way. <laughs> oh, incidentally, I was wearing my yellow cowgirl boots and my yellow and black cowgirl skirt that fit me like a glove. Woo! It was great fun though. I had a great time. And it was an opportunity for Kimberly to exercise her skill because my kitchen on the set was phenomenal. Her attention to detail, just like her mother, was splendid. I always look forward to working at the WIC, and I hope that when all of this is over, I'll have an opportunity to visit you all again. I don't live in South Florida anymore. I'm actually here in Knoxville, Tennessee, but all my friends and family in the theater are down there, so I make a special point of coming to visit. So I look forward to seeing you all again, and meanwhile, 
be safe. Um, and I hope you're having a lovely time visiting your own friends and family in our lockdowns. Bye-bye. Well, this incredibly brilliant woman um, is just one of the finest actresses in South Florida. And um, uh, when Laura Lean was cast as Louise in Always Patsy Cline, I just knew in my heart that she would portray Louise in the quirky kind of silly Texas way she should be portrayed but also with a lot of heart and um, that is exactly what she did I mean often this role is a very kind of hokey pokey thing and that's not what she or Dominic were our, our director were going for and um, she did it brilliantly. She is a brilliant actress. I hope you've enjoyed this magical memory. And um, we've got another one right around the corner.